Great job, man. How was that start? That start was okay. You know, I'm gonna put it at okay. It built progressively built in, and that's what me and my coach have really been working on. You know, projecting myself down the track. I felt like I did that. I didn't sleep in the vlogs. I felt like, you know, I got out there. And even though people were trying to put distance on me, I never let them got a, you know, a hand pocket away. And by the time we got to 60 meters, you know, I knew that the race was over. You, you speak about power a lot when it comes to the 100 and 200 and how important it is. With a sport that is so explosive and requires such aggression, how do you maintain that power and bring that power every time you come, in, come to compete? Yeah, it's uh, all about how you apply it, truly. You can be the strongest person, but if you're not using it right, it's useless. And uh, that's what you might see happen to a lot of athletes. Um, and truthfully, I think that's a little bit of what happens to me. You know, I have a lot of power, but I don't get to uh, apply it as directly as I want to. But I'm getting closer and closer. And even if I know exactly what I need to do, it's still being able to do that action that I constantly have to keep getting into a habit of doing. And how much confidence do you take from the performance like tonight? It's a, it's a, it's a good performance. It's a, a great confidence booster, especially as we're getting closer and closer to USA. I know that I'm taking on the, the best in the world and I'm able to say, you know, matter, no matter what, who's in the field, I'm gonna come out with the win. And so in New in New York, you've got Fred stepping up into your territory, the yeah, 200. Yeah. What do you got to say to Fred about that? You can pick the lane and you still don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, no. Well done, man. Well right. done.